Hey guys, I wanna show you and introduce you to this new hitch that I have. I have a problem because my vehicle is actually too short for a lot of my trailers. So I've got a five inch drop or rise kit here. This comes with both a regular two inch ball, but also one and seven eighths and the two and five eighths. So you can angle it any which way you want. It makes it super convenient. This comes with everything that we need to be able to put it in the vehicle including quick release. So there's three pins that will clip on here. I'm gonna show you how this all works. And we've even got the locking hitch receiver here so I can make sure that nobody takes it out of my vehicle and steals it. Let's get right to it. So on a standard two inch receiver, I insert this first. You can see there's two holes here so I can set the depth that I want. The hitch lock here has a cover, and then all of the pins come with O-rings as well. So I'm gonna slip that on. That will create a nice bumper. Slip that through, and I take the key out. All I have to do is press that on tight and pull the key back out. And then I'm gonna put the cap back over it to keep the mechanism nice and clean. So that's secure, locked onto my vehicle. Next, I'm gonna choose the rise or the drop, if this was inverted, that I want, and just slip one of the pins through. I'm gonna put the second one through the next hole. And then you use these clevis pins to slide through, lock that in place. Now I'll take a wrench and tighten these up so that it takes up all of the loose play in here. Then the final step here is choose the correct ball size. Mine's a two inch. Use this one, slide that pin through as well, lock it in place. And then I'll tighten up the bottom bolt to take up this play as well and we'll be ready to connect it to the trailer. Let's say now I want to switch configuration. So all I need to do is pull this out and switch to a larger ball, put that back through and ready to go. If I need to put the whole thing on a different vehicle, I can pull these pins out and I can adjust the rise or drop accordingly. Makes it super easy and convenient for whatever trailers you need to connect to any vehicle that you have. I've got this all set and adjusted, so I was really close. I'll go ahead and lower my trailer down onto it. 